Hey guys, my name is Elena, I'm a graphic designer and welcome to my graphic design channel and today I'm going to show you how to draw that design in Adobe Illustrator and at first I'm going to show you how to use that design. You can create curtains to sell them for example on Adobe Stock. You can create different types of curtains, how uh, your buyers will use them we can use them, for example, in the social media, no matter what business it will be. For example, it can be a construction business or beauty sphere. Uh, you can use or they can use uh, the design, for example, to say the audience that they will be opening soon, for example, or something uh, grant will be soon for example you can create such poster uh, to say your customers that will be soon grant opening and it will be commercial design because that design uh, can be used uh, in different spheres different people in different businesses and it uh, called commercial design. Uh, you can create commercial designs for example for your portfolio and to be a freelancer or you can create uh, commercial designs for uh, sell them for example on Adobe stock or Shutterstock or other stocks. Uh, I as well have uh, designs with curtains, for example, that is my design, you will find my portfolio on Adobe Stock below this video. Uh, I have empty designs with curtain, I have uh, that design with uh, VAP uh, and such design uh, with uh, VIP and crown and uh, I have here empty place so that my customer can add the text here as well I have such design and that one so you can create a lot of different designs with curtains and if you want to create your commercial portfolio with me and to understand how to create commercial designs, why that design is commercial or that design is not commercial, you can come to my course Commercial Portfolio Step Up. Uh, why you need my course, you can uh, read on my course website. As well, I have two levels of my course. Level one, uh, you study by yourself you can come to level one wherever you want and level two you study with me and if you want to study with me the course with my support will be on june 3rd uh, you will see here the button about that you can buy my course uh, so if you're interested to study with me, I take only 30 students every three months. So if you want to study with me, you need to come to my course website and to buy my course on June 3rd. And if you want to study by yourself, you can come to my course website and to buy level one only me and start to study today. Uh, and here you will find how to check your knowledge in Adobe Illustrator before the course and if you just start to uh, use Adobe Illustrator when you need to go to that video it's on YouTube and to start from my free plan here and now let's start to draw curtains. This is size of my workspace and these are colors which I'm going to use in my tutorial. And now let's start to draw. My workspace is ready and colors are already in the swatches panel. Let's take a light pink color or red and rectangle tool and create the square like that. Now uh, go to object 
create gradient mesh here one here 24 okay now let's take dark red color and put the color straight to the points like that okay now let's take two gradient mesh tool let's add here one more line and take uh, the red color a little lighter than before like this you can select your own places it's my vision okay and now let's take direct selection tool select that point hold shift select that point and this one and move a little to the right to make uh, your curtains a little unperfect some points to the uh, to the right some points to the left you can move one point or two points it will be more interesting uh, view when it will be not so uh, perfect like that now let's take any color and create rectangle or square now take a radial gradient and we need white color and gray color and opacity multiply okay it's ready if you like you can always move your gradient take gradient tool and you can for example move your gradient here or make like this add light to the right or to the left or to the center or for example on the top to move the slider as you like so you can play with gradient as you like okay guys the design is ready well guys that's all for today hope you like my tutorial if yes give me a like and subscribe and see you in the next tutorial in adobe illustrator or in the next videos about a graphic design bye bye guys Mwah. bye